Welcome back guys. So we are in the second video of five in our mini series um, and in this video we're going to be looking at some of the progressions that I like to use to help my junior players at under eight um, to develop a good forehand technique. There are plenty of ways that you can develop technique in junior players. These are some of the ways that I like to progress the strokes. They aren't the only ways. And it's important to know that every single junior is different. The way that they learn, the, the way that they're built physically, and the way that they cope with information mentally too. So although these are quite simple ways of coaching, they're not gonna work for everybody, but hopefully they'll work for most people. So let's get into our second video, forehand progressions. Just like the serve, on the forehand, we would do lots of work using just a tennis ball. So before even using a tennis racket, lots of work would be done with throwing and catching so our players can practice their receiving and sending skills. But we don't have time for that today. That will be for a later video. In this video, we're just looking at racket and ball skills. So first things first is knowing how to hold the racket. And quite simply with children, you get them to pick the racket up from the floor. This will give them something between the eastern and the semi-western forehand grip which will make their forehands nice and easy to start off with. So progression number one, I call it the bounce tap. And quite simply, you're going to get your child or your player facing forward, so shoes each side of a marker, and you're going to let the ball bounce and you're going to tap it back over. Bounce, tap. Bounce, tap. The key teaching point on this one is making sure that the player is making contact with the ball in front of their shoes and they're hitting up on the ball. Once your player can do this comfortably, the next step is being able to do it on the move. Once your player can hit the bounce tap on the move, the next step will be to introduce them into some rallying skills. Once they can rally competently with the bounce tap, you'll move on to the next progression. So the next step is introducing a slightly bigger swing by being side on to the net. So we're gonna start in the ready position as we did before. But when the ball comes in towards you, you're gonna turn sideways and you're gonna tap the ball back over the net, finishing with a tip stance because we've rotated our hips. So here we go, side on, tap. Again, side on, tap. One more. Once your player can do this consistently, the next step is can they do it on the move? Move to the ball, side on, tap. Tap. Again, once your player can do this on the move, they can then move on to doing some rallies. And once they can do rallies comfortably, they will move on to the next progression, where we will now be introducing a bit of a follow through. Now, I call it a big nose finish. You can call it what you like, but we're trying to get that elbow up nice and high to finish the swing. So, side on, tip stance, big finish. Side on, tip stance, big finish. And again on the move. One more, after the ready position, out to the ball. There we go. Again, repeated by rallies, and we're into the final progression where we will be introducing a slight loop shape. Now, a way that I like to introduce the loop is by calling it the mirror pose. So on the way back, before the racket gets to the back of the swing, we want the strings to be facing in towards the player like they're looking into the mirror. So we want it to look like this. Now that's quite a big jump from the previous progression, so you can break it down and you can get your player starting side on, looking in the mirror here and creating that small loop to get underneath the ball and finish with the big nose and again into the mirror, get underneath the ball and finish with the big nose. There's lots of ways that you can go about doing this, this is just one of the ways that I like to do. So they were my forehand progressions, I hope you liked them, if you're a parent or a coach feel free to comment underneath this if there's anything else that you've seen on the tennis court or any other ways that you like to do it. And I hope to see you again in my next video looking at the backhand. Take care.